What's up, everybody, and welcome to Watch With Jay. So today we are watching Avatar The Last Airbender and we are on, oh, the light is like, uh uh-uh, girl, not today. We are on episode nine, um, so I'm excited. So the last episode, it was actually it was actually really cool seeing like Avatar Roku like work through Aang at the end when he knocked he destroyed the whole like um island that was in the Fire Nation and everything to protect Aang. And it just shows and it's kind of crazy to seeing that from a firebender. And I I really respect that sage because he said. His, you know, that was supposed to be their job. Their job originally was supposed to be loyal to the Avatar and protect the Avatar. And, you know, of course, the person now who's in charge of the Fire um, Nation is basically kind of became greedy and just kind of wanted to just take over everything itself instead of trying to let the Avatar restore balance. He just wanted the power. So, <clears throat> excuse me. So to see that was just like, wow, you know. Um, I don't know, it was just... <sighs> It's crazy because it's like this is getting so much more intense and I'm just like hoping that Aang can get to the North Pole and like I said for him and Katara to really like master um like Katara know a little bit but if she can master it it'd be so effective because of it could really help Aang when they have to battle especially the Fire Nation it'd be good to be able to fight fire with water so you know if her and Aang got that and you know she's able to really fight too that'd be good backup um I still don't know if Sokka's going to be able to, you know, bend or not. And I hope maybe he will. I hope he can. Maybe he just doesn't know he have it in him. I'm hoping that he can eventually. I really do hope so. But, you know, um, for now, he needs to work on fighting. So hopefully he can learn some more fighting to, like, you know, really get himself up there. Because if if he can't bend right now, he can at least get his fighting skills up. At least learn how to, like, move quicker and, you know, evade certain attacks and stuff better. Because right now he got a little better since working with that, you know, with the soldier, I mean the warrior, but he still is kind of like clumsy in fighting, so he just got to get there. Anyway, so I'm excited to see where this go. Hopefully they made it to the North Pole this time, or, you know, if they stop somewhere, hopefully it's, um, you know, at this point they're, they're crunching on time, so, but yeah. Um, so you guys, we're about to go ahead and start watching. Make sure if you want to see the full watch along, you guys go to my Patreon. It is going to be linked in the description box and it also be in the pinned comments. But if not, always check the description box for my patrons. Okay. I'm um, for my Patreon to see the full watch along to this and many other cool things. All right. I, oh, and also make sure you subscribe if you like this reaction because your girl's on the road to 10k. So yeah. All right, you guys, I am going to start. Let me see. I'm going to go ahead and start recording in three, two, one. Would you sit down? If what we hit a bump, on? you'll go flying off. What's bugging you anyway? It's what Avatar Roku says. Well, let's see. You pretty much mastered airbending, and that only took you 112 years. I'm sure you can master three more elements by next summer. Sokka. If you want, I can try and teach you some of the stuff I know. You do that? <laughs> nice puddle. <laughs> Alpha. <laughs> He's so cute. Yeah. Him and Bobo. Me, Remember oh. the reason we're here. <clears throat> oh, right. You could clean the gunk out of Appa's toes, mud and bugs. God. Okay. <laughs> he said okay. What's the meaning of this mutiny? No one told you to change course. Actually, someone did. You've changed our course for a stupid lotus tile? <laughs> yeah, don't get too happy. You've got to do me next. So don't be frustrated if you don't get it right away. Just push and pull the water like this. The key is getting the wrist movement right. It took me two months to learn that move. Well, he is the well, avatar. you have to figure it out all on your own. I'm lucky enough to have a great teacher. It's harder than it looks, so don't be disappointed if... Sheesh. Katara, don't get jealous. You supposed to be helping him. Nice work. Though the over the head flare was unnecessary. <clears throat> Sorry. So like this? Oh no! Dang. So he 
can he you got the concept of bending water some kind of what um I pretty quickly. That move. What else you got? My life was hard enough when you were just an airbender. I mean he's the avatar and I'm pretty sure he worked with it before. Brave enough to look into this bag. We've got exactly three copper pieces left from the money that King Boomy gave us. I couldn't say no to this whistle. Yeah, that was a. I don't understand that purchase, but who knows? Maybe it might come in Earth handy. Nation. Fire Nation, Water Nation, oh, you there? <laughs> I can see from your clothing that you're world traveling types. Oh, oh God. <gasps> huh? That beast would fetch me a hefty sum if you'd be interested in bartering. Mm-mm. Y'all need to leave. Momo's not for sale. <gasps> Look at this, Aang. It's a water-bending scroll. Wait a minute. Sea-loving traders with suspiciously acquired merchandise? Aye, we be casting off now. Oh, boy. What was that all about, Katara? Told you the haggling would be. Why is she off. acting like that? Get up! Nobody's going nowhere. Ah! <laughs> this place is worse than Omashu! Oh god, same guy. I used to kinda look up to pirates, but those guys are terrible. It doesn't matter. You put all of our lives in danger just so you could learn some stupid fancy splashes. Yeah, but not to steal Whatever. it. Well, but I guess they probably done. did steal it because the, the way we they said well it. Learn from it. Oh. <laughs> What's so funny? Shouldn't we stop to search the woods? We don't need to stop. They stole a water bending scroll, right? <laughs> mm hmm. I gotta give it to Zuko, though. He's smart. <laughs> Tell me where he is, and I won't hurt you or your brother. Go jump in the river. My mother's necklace. How did you get that? I didn't steal it, if that's what you're wondering. Oh, God, that did not work out. This is all my fault. No, Katara, it isn't. <laughs> Give me the boy. Your friend is the Avatar? <clears throat> sure is. And I'll bet he'll fetch a lot more on the black market than that fancy scroll. Shut your mouth, you water tribe peasant. Keep the scroll. We can buy a hundred with the reward we'll get for the kid. That was got a sock already knew. Thanks, Momo. I owe you a bushel of apples. <laughs> <laughs> Mama, a real one. <laughs> yes, Momo. Oh, shoot. Uh oh. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, never mind. I'll find you. Run! <laughs> Are you so busy fighting you cannot see your own ship has set sail? Take <laughs> like yours hey, too. That's my boat! Ooh. Yes! Will you two quit congratulating each other and help me out? <laughs> <laughs> Have you lost your mind? This is no time for flute practice! Another problem. Oh, God. Whoa! Don't tell me that whistle worked for Appa to come. Did he act? Did that thing actually work? Thanks, Appa. Yeah, we owe you one. <laughs> <laughs> my boat! The lotus tile was in my sleeve the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> He should have kept that to himself. I still owe you an apology. You were just so good at water bending without really trying. I got so competitive that I put us all in danger. Unless it's from pirates. 
<laughs> Good one, Katara. This is just getting better and better, literally. I'm just really enjoying this. Oh, gosh. Katara, you know what? Like, um, I, I don't know. Like, it seemed like that scroll taught her how to whip, and it came in handy when she needed it. Yeah, you can tell. Like, of course, like, you know, somebody, if this is, like, something she's been wanting to do her whole life, I can see why she got so upset and jealous because she worked so hard to even be able to do the stuff that she knows how to do. And anger just, like... But like I said, I feel like before he got frozen, he had some kind of experience with it. So it's like, it's not new to him. He just probably didn't master it. So, you know, she has to be, you know, he's the avatar. So he's probably going to be able to have things flow more because he has like all the avatars and the, the avatar before him, like the spirit, like, you know what I mean? So it's like, she, you know, I get where she was coming from. It probably felt like everything she practiced was for nothing and that, you know, it just seemed like it was just nothing to him. So I got it. But that was a really great episode. I'm so, I'm just like, oh, I'm just like waiting. They said they're weeks away from the dang temp, from the um, North Pole. I'm just like waiting for them to patiently get there. I'm like, God, hurry up and get there already. Because I, I just really feel like if they can just get there and get their water techniques together, it just, I'm thinking, you know, the water bending better, it would be so much better for everybody. So, yeah. Um, But you guys, I definitely um enjoyed the episode and if you guys want to see me the full um, watch along to this episode, please make sure that you guys go to my Patreon, which is in the description box. If it's not pinned in the comments, check the description box, okay? That has all good information that you might want to check out, okay? And then also, if you guys enjoyed this and want to continue my journey with me, then make sure you guys um, subscribe and push the bell notification so you can get notified. Notificated. Notificated. Oh, my God. You can get a notification whenever I post. My gosh. Not notificated. Um, but all right. I'm going to see you guys next episode.